plenty of rain out this way. It's going to be a quick review. So this is the Arai XE XD4. Okay, we're just going to head up to Lake Morris Road. Find somewhere nice and quiet up there, do a review on this helmet. We might just pull up on a lift here, I think. Now, I've had this for um, a bit over a year, and I've done about 25,000 kilometres in this helmet. Okay, the pros of this helmet, really well made quality, handmade in Japan by a um, family-owned Japanese company, has been for a lot of years. The finish is immaculate, they're not mass-produced, they're, they're all handcrafted. Um, I've, I've never seen a better finish on a helmet than this, and I've owned a lot of helmets in my life. Um, other pros, airflow. You've got vents on the sides, you can open and close. There's little switches inside here. All these you can get access with gloves, so if you've got gloves on, you can easily turn all these vents on and off. There's a vent behind the GoPro mount. There's a vent inside behind the GoPro mount. You can uh, open the front one, close the inside one, and that will direct air up in, up, up on the back side of that shield and it'll clear any fog. You've got eyebrow vents up the top here as well, so you can open and close them with gloves on. There's a little lip, easy to flick open and not open and close. They will uh, push air back through over the top of your head and you can really feel those working on a hot day. A couple of vents on the top, open and close with a little switch. Again, easy to do with gloves on. Exhaust vents you can open and close if it's getting too cold. More exhaust vents at the back and down here. It's got emergency cheek pad here, so you can pull and remove those in the event of an emergency. Emergency services can yank them out to remove the helmet a bit better. Straight out of the box, the pads are adjustable. You can peel the pads a bit thinner, so if you put it on and it's really jamming up in your cheeks and it's a bit uncomfortable, pull the pads out and you can strip layers off them and put them back in. Another feature you don't see on a lot of helmets is they've got like a matte rubber up underneath the visor here. Um, I don't know if you can see that there, just up under here. If you can see that there, up under there. And that helps just take a bit of glare off if you've got your shield down and the sun's hitting it. A Ricardo communicator there. Um, the speakers fit in here really well. I had no issues. I just pulled the pads out, put the Velcro, dropped those speakers straight in. Uh, I, I can't even tell they're in there. There's no pressure on my ears or nothing. And the sound's really good. It is a little bit noisy on the road, um, but that's too expected for this style of helmet. It's not a, a road helmet or anything. Um, shield, I do like. I can wear goggles, motocross goggles, with the shield closed, and I can still clip that up. I can't clip it up with the GoPro mount on, but that little clip will lock that shield down. And the goggle straps will sit straight underneath here. Not a problem, no extra noise, nothing. So I do like wearing motocross goggles. Um, if you, if you hit a swarm of bugs or somewhere, uh, you, can just flick the, you can flick this down, wear all the bugs on that, flick it up when you're out of them, and you can see where you're going. Uh, same as dust and dirt, you know, if you've got trucks or cars on a, on a dirt road, gravel road coming towards you and throwing up rocks and bundies, flick this down, that's going to protect your face and your eyes, you still see where you're going, you've got your goggles on, I use the tinted ones, uh, and they work really well. So that's a bit of a pro. You can, you can, use this helmet just a screw just a key or a screwdriver you can undo all this you can take that um, visor off you can take the shield off you can get tinted shields for them as well you can put pin locks on these shields um, so you can use this helmet naked basically no shield no visor you could use it with a visor so it'd be more like a road bike helmet you can take the visor off another car going past why is everybody out on a day like today when it's flogging down rain all over the place i'm going to get wet soon i can see it so yeah so you can leave that on and use it like a road helmet with the visor off. You can take the shield off, leave the visor on, use it like a motocross helmet. So, yeah, lots of pros with this helmet. I really do like it. Cons, um, oh, maybe not a con, expensive. That's probably a given. Handmade, well-crafted, quality. You know, it's just quality. So, it's, it is expensive, about $800 in Australia. Uh, I'm not sure what they are overseas. That's probably equates to about 600, five, 600 in the US. Um, the only other, the only real con is the weight. It is a little bit heavy. I don't notice it riding around, but um, if, you know, if you're a bit of a, sm a skinnier frame and a smaller neck with less neck muscles, you might feel that weight a bit. 
I'm not, I haven't weighed it, but with um, the GoPro and this on, I reckon it's close to about two kilos. So there is a little bit of weight in there, you can feel it. Um, all around, if I uh, write this helmet off, I will lose it or whatever, I'll definitely buy another one, a ride. They are really, really good stuff, good gear. And um, oh, I love it. The padding still, the padding hasn't squashed down like some helmets do. From the day I put it on, it was a nice snug fit. After about a month, it just got comfortable, didn't loosen up, it just got really comfortable. And it's been the same since. So even now when I put it on, I can feel it just pushing nicely. So if you're, if you're after a new good helmet, I'd highly recommend one of these. So top notch. Righto. I'm going to pack all my camera gear up, get on the bike and ride home before I get too wet. All right, I hope you enjoyed that short, quick review. Uh, if you did, give it the thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment down the bottom. Um, I don't know. If you want to see anything different or you, anything you think you'd like to see me do, that's not too silly, I'll do it. Um, just leave a comment down the bottom and uh, I'll try and reply to most of them and all of them. But uh, yeah, enjoy. Ride safe. See you in the next one. Hey, Roo.